So I'm Scott Murray and I'm uh, showing you a few of these uh, guitar parts that we put on Daniel Harrison's record here at Brazen. Alright, I'm using uh, a Les Paul right now and I'm plugged into an orange uh, 8050 but um, for all uh, general purposes any good sounding tube amp will work. It doesn't have to be an expensive one like a Fender amp. Uh, I love Fender amps. Uh, smaller wattage amps are better, especially for churches. But uh, I'm using, uh, that's what I'm using today, is this guitar and that amp. And uh, effects wise, I'm, I'm basically going to do this whole thing with a handful of effects. I've got a Timmy Overdrive, which is just kind of a low gain overdrive. It's not way over the top, um, but any kind of low, you know, mid, mid to low gain overdrive works well for this kind of sound, like a. Tube screamers are great. Uh, anything in the tube screamer kind of family, and there's lots of different different effects that that sound like tube screamers. And uh, it's my favorite overdrive. If I'm not getting the overdrive from the amp, I like this pedal. And then I'm going into a wah wah pedal, and then into a volume pedal, and then into a, a digital delay that does tap. Tempo. It's pretty important to have a tap tempo delay if you're going to be doing kind of modern worship music so it's any kind of tap tempo delay will work usually a, a DD5 or a DD6 or DD7 they're all great I'm using the uh, eventide time factor here and uh, honestly it doesn't really matter to me which which one I'm using they all do the same kind of tricks so um, so that's it I've got basically three effects here and a volume pedal and that's what I'll do basically this whole demonstration with so you don't need a whole lot of things to make these sounds happen. Just, you know, good hands, good ears, and uh, and a handful of tools.